Good morning, happy travelers. Welcome to Juneau, Alaska. You might be a little confused because last time we saw you, we were in the interior of Alaska. We flew down here yesterday. Today we are going on a whale watching tour, but unfortunately it is a little bit rainy. Our luck with the weather has run out. It's gonna be a wet whale watching tour, but hopefully we still see some cool stuff. Now we have about a 15 minute drive into downtown Juneau. This is our first time using Turo for a car. If you don't know what that is, it is car sharing, kind of like an Airbnb for cars. Rental cars are in very short supply these days, so we got this for a relatively good price, and it's an electric car. This is our very first time driving an all-electric car, so it should be good for the environment for two days, and it's weird because it's very, very silent. <laughs> all right, let's get to that whale watching. We've made it to downtown Juneau, still pouring. That's all right, I think we found where we need to be. Okay, we've met up with our tour. It looks like there are 10 other people, so it's gonna be a pretty small tour today, which is awesome. Hopefully we see lots of whales. quite so hard here which is good we're at a place called Ayuk Bay I think they said we've already seen a bald eagle so that's a good start I'm trying not to slip and fall on my butt Whales. I'll tell you about the baleen later. Is it gonna, no, ah. <laughs> oh, okay, we found the whales. If there's one whale out here, I bet you there's at least a dozen whales. There's so many. out of 10 recommend. How many whales do you think we've seen? <laughs> uh, at least a dozen, if not more. I couldn't count them. It didn't even matter when one dove down because there were like 13 other to see. So yeah. they got pretty close too. better results than that wow the wind picked up a little bit and there was a few whales that spouted so we were downwind of the whale spout and it smelled really really bad oh Ooh, smell the air smell the air we're gonna sneeze on <laughs> oh. <laughs> that stinks it's, yeah. it smells bad it does not feel good the guide told us that they have a big layer of mucus and snot that they keep that kind of protects their blowhole when they dive under so when that comes out it shoots all that in the air and the guide got really excited and said we we're going to get snotted on and it it was pretty stinky but to be that close to a whale to be able to smell it's snot is pretty cool super gross but pretty cool that was insane it didn't matter where you looked around there was just like i could point the camera in any direction and there would be six different spouts and one time they circled right around the boat like we could hear them we got spotted on it was insane i can't 
can't believe the sheer volume of whales we saw. It was at least a dozen, and it's kind of hard to tell because you don't know which ones you've seen more than once. Probably we saw 50 to 60 spouts and 30 tails. It's crazy. That was an awesome tour. I don't think it could have gone any better. Highly recommend Juno whale watching. Yeah, I just can't believe how many whales we saw. That was just yeah, it was, it was very cool, insane. We have been whale watching to see humpbacks in Hawaii, which is the other end of their migration. So we kind of got to see both spectrums with that. We made a video of that as well, so we'll go ahead and link that one in the description if you want to check that out. But I think that up here, the whale watching was actually better. There was just so many of them in one spot here. Close and all around and just hanging out around the boat. It was, it was very cool. Yeah, super, super neat. Really awesome experience. Definitely recommend it if you're in the area. And it's still a little rainy, but it's much better than it was. And I think we're gonna go get some food. We've come to this restaurant called Hangar on the Wharf, which has an awesome view of the harbor right here. They serve chowder with halibut and salmon in it, so we got a bowl of that to share with a big loaf of fresh sourdough bread. Hopefully this is gonna warm us up a little bit because I am definitely feeling pretty cold from being out on the water. Ooh, look at those big chunks. Big chunks of fish in there. I think they were caught right out there. It's really nice on a day like this. It warms the soul. So this place, the hangar, is definitely in the middle of the tourist heart of downtown Juneau. But you wouldn't know it right now because there's no cruise ships in here and it's pretty empty. Which is kind of amazing because I've been here a couple times on a cruise myself. And it is normally just bustling with people. But it's a little sad because a lot of the restaurants we've looked at are temporarily closed or they're shut down. A lot of storefronts are shut down. Even the captain of the whale watching tour we just went on said they didn't operate at all last year and only started doing a few tours a couple months ago. So it's really sad to see the effects of the pandemic on towns like Juneau that really rely on tourism. We're glad to be here supporting the locals just a little bit for the few days that we have in Juneau. We figured we should get some seafood because we're in this amazing fishing town. So we got the seafood chowder and a halibut burger, and we got a Cajun grilled, which I'm not sure how that's gonna be, but I love Cajun food, so I think it's gonna be really good. They are playing 90s music, and it's the Spice Girls. What do you want? So right next to Juno sits Douglas Island, and we have come down to this old section that has a bunch of mining ruins. There's a little parking lot and just a short hiking trail that you can take to go and see some of these ruins that are right on the beach. Yay! <laughs> As you can tell, this activity is something I wanted to do a little more than what Kelly wanted to do. That's okay, I always drag him to see all the wildlife, so. on top of the thing that Kevin was taking pictures of earlier. <laughs> Did you see what you wanted to see, sir? Yeah, I thought that was cool. A lot of ruins to see. You could definitely spend a good half day exploring everything. It was actually good to get out and hike. Kind of warms me up a little bit. I was feeling a little chilly. But I think we're gonna head over to the Mendenhall Glacier, which is another one of the top things to do in Juneau. We wanna do it before tomorrow when it's gonna be pouring. Now I think we're gonna head over and try to get a closer look at the glacier. There is also a waterfall that is a short hike from this visitor center. So we might check that out as well. It's about a mile. Some spots around the Mendenhall Glacier require a fee, although not all spots, which is a little odd. You can purchase a pass around the area. There are automated fee stations or at the visitor center, or if you have an annual national parks pass like we do, you just carry that with you. The pathway to Nugget Falls is gravel, but it's compacted so much that you could probably like take a wheelchair over it. So it's dirt, but it's pretty much like pavement.
have spent way too long at this waterfall creating videos. But that's okay, because we're video creators! Whoa! Ah, f Nugget Falls is a cool hike. You can't really see the glacier from here. Yeah, which is insane because I was here about 13 years ago. Ooh, geez. And I would say it's receded like at least a quarter mile. It's really sad. I say that every time I see a glacier, how much it's receding. And at one point, Nugget Falls went under the ice because the yeah. ice was over here, but not anymore. It's a great place to drone too. We were able to kind of fly over by the glacier. It's been pretty cool here, we like it. But it's also getting really cold and we're getting kind of hungry, so I think it's time to head back to the car. Thanks so much for following along on our Alaska adventures. If you haven't checked out the other videos, Make sure you go do that now because we did a lot of awesome stuff. And our next trip is exciting too. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss our videos. This is Kelly and Kevin from The Awkward Tourist. Peace out. This is our first cruise since way before COVID. So it's been a couple of years and we're really interested to see what cruising is like during a pandemic. That tour was super awesome. No, 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 it's not, I don't want to say super awesome. That tour was awesome. Not super awesome. <laughs> Whoa, what's happening? It's on one sixth. You can't really see much of the glacier for, from. You can't really see much of the great. Oh my god. Is this gonna work? Not for you. <laughs> <laughs> now is the time to pull out those big cameras, turn them to machine gun mode, and take some pictures. Machine gun mode engage. <laughs> <laughs>